Gadron and Cal. Now these two names won't be familiar to you unless you're into mechanical keyboards and chances are you clicked on the video because you don't know much about mechanical keyboards and you want to find out about these two names. So let's talk about how they started and to do that we've got to go back many years back. Now Cherry used to be the sole manufacturer of mechanical keyboard switches as they had a nice solid patent preventing anyone else from making mechanical switches that are similar in terms of design, mechanical this stuff and the patent allowed them to have a complete monopoly over the whole market if you had a mechanical keyboard chances are cherry mech switches were in it but then the patent ran out and now cherry has a lot of competition nowadays there are a lot of alternatives to cherry mech switches some of them trying to do it cheaper some of them trying to do it better now meet garon and carl okay not carl as in k-y-l-e but carl as in k-i-l H. Actually, in Chinese, it's K-I-L-E, Kyle, but they changed it for the American market. Now, these two brands make clones of Cherry Mix switches, but which one's better for you as a consumer? Let's talk about design firstly. Okay, not really. They have exactly the same design. They all have the same cross-type design as the Cherry MX, and they look exactly the same. So, moving on to build quality. Let's talk about this. In this category, Gateron is a clear winner. Cal switches tend to wriggle about in their casings, and when you shake, it reveals a bit of a rattle, which is clearly not good. I mean, build quality is really important. It determines how long a switch lasts in your keyboard, how it feels, and basically everything important about it is determined by build quality. On the Gateron, it's much, much better. There's no wriggle, no shake, there's no wobble. It's very secure really really strong and you won't feel like it's gonna break in two months so Garon is a clear winner here how about few then Garon to me is a clear clear winner here another one down for Carl unfortunately Garon is so much more smoother it's more gentle bottoming out the tactile actuation the part where it goes click is so much more refined so much more subtle there's definitely also less resistant when you press the switch and even though they're rated for the same force, the Gateron switches are definitely much much lighter. And they are so smooth, even smoother than Cherry MX switches in my honest opinion. They are some of the best switches on the market right now if you were to ask me. On the other hand, Carl switches are much heavier, have a much rougher feel than Cherry MX and Gaderons, and I have to describe them as kind of scratchy and uncomfortably rough and unsmooth. On Carl's and even Cherry switches, the tactile bump and when you actuate the switch, there's kind of a bounce back from the spring extending because of the click which is kind of uncomfortable if you're typing for a long period of time. It's kind of satisfying, but to me, it's just feeling unrefined and not as premium as it could be. Also, when you're clicking and pressing down the switch, depressing the switch on cow switches and Cherry Max, there's an exponential increase in force just before you activate it, making the switches a bit weird to type on sometimes. And that's where I find Gaterons much better. On Gaterons, the click is more like an afterthought. It's a slack, tactile and audible feedback to tell you, hey, you activated your switch. Instead of the other switcher style of making the feedback a main focus of depressing the switch, the Gateron definitely feels more refined, or the other feels a lot more satisfying because there's a buildup of force that is released. You have to try it in the store to really understand what I mean, but uh, I try to describe it as best as I can. So in conclusion for feel, Carl's feel more satisfying, but Cadenron's feel more premium and more like enjoyable in the long term for typing. Each to their own, but I like the Gateron more. How about sound then? Well, it's a very similar story here. Gateron's a lot more refined, a lot more subtle, a lot more quiet. They're very smooth, the clicks are very gentle. Well, on the other hand, the Carl's like a Honda with a huge noisy exhaust on it. It's louder, it's more vulgar, but it's definitely more satisfying. However, cars have this very rattly sound, very scratchy, very crunchy kind of sound. It's like walking through a pile of dead leaves. It's uncomfortable, it's kind of noisy. It goes as you activate it. 
it gets on my nerves but you may like it but i'm with Gateron on this one now i would put in a sound clip here in this video but that's assuming i can find one and it's kind of unlikely but if i can find a sound clip that i recorded myself uh, I'll put it in the video. If I can't, I'll link it somewhere up here or down below. A video where you can listen to the comparison in terms of sound. Okay, so it's been looking really, really bad for Kyle here because they seem to be losing every single round. Everything is not going in their favor. But there are two more categories that I'd like to talk about that are in the favor of Kyle. Availability and price. While both are cheaper than Cherry Max, Kao is just absolutely the cheapest switches on the market. They are super cheap. They build a lot. They have a lot of Kao switches, and in the keyboard world, they're like essentially like thrift store price. They're super cheap, and hence companies put them in a lot of mechanical keyboards because of the low price, despite the lower quality, of course, and. Because they are in so many cheap keyboards, they're much, much easier to find. Cows are literally everywhere. So if you are looking at this video, chances are you're looking at more cow keyboards than Gateron keyboards. Gaterons are usually only found in like niche keyboards or self-assembled keyboards. They're way rarer. You usually have to buy them as a set of switches instead of as a part of a keyboard. And although they're getting more and more popular because of their quality, it's gonna be much harder to find them than cow switches. So cows are easier to find. And price-wise, Gateron's may be cheaper than Cherry Max. As I said before, cows are still absolutely the cheapest. So, conclusion time. I prefer Gateron's, but they are way harder to find. However, I would avoid Carl if I were you, even if you can't find Gateron, because they aren't very reliable. I've read a lot of reports where they break and stuff very quickly and they feel atrocious. They don't feel good at all. At the end of the day though, the best thing to do is go to a store and try it out yourself, if possible, if you have a store nearby that has a lot of mechanical keyboard. And yeah, that's it for this video. I guess that's the end. If you liked it, like it. If you liked it a lot, subscribe. Oh yeah, and all the keyboards are available for purchase down below. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.